imagine that we want to export a D365 a base Xenium in a field, like for example the document state into the purchase table, that it's um, here, document state based in the versioning document state enumeration. And we want to export it to a report, to an Excel, to a whatever, uh, but we want to export the string value, the label, because you know, uh, enumerations are saved in the, into the database as integers, but we not, only, not always know uh, the um, actual value of that enum because it can be extensible and whatever. So there's a little bit of complexity here. And to work with it in, um, in electronic reporting, in, in this case at the model mapping level, this is an export uh, example, and we have to do a few tricks. So the first thing that we, we need to do is to add the enumeration object, the data source, uh, under the Dynamics, the Dynamics 365 for, for operations uh, node. So let's go here, enumeration, add root, and let's call it the name of the versioning of the enum, basically. Vers versioning document state. I remember correctly. Okay. And here you're going to see that we have all the values of that enum. So that's <laughs> that's a step in the in the right direction. But this is not uh, what we actually need because we already have uh, enum value and we want to convert it to a label for this particular. Base enum. So what we need to do is let's add a calculated field and let's put the dollar sign uh, document state list. We can use that. It's list of fields. Here you are. So we go. It's here. List of fields. Oh, sorry, list of fields. Uh, returns a record list created from an argument, a model enumeration or a format enumeration in our case uh, or a container, blah, blah, blah. So in our case, it's exactly what we need because this is going to create a list with the name, label and description. And with that, we are going to be able to like filter um, to get our particular value in its case based on the on the value of the of of our record in the table so list of fields we can add this like that save and look what it, what this is going to create this is going to create a document state list with description uh, label and name so this is another step in the right direction but we are not done yet why because we um, we need to filter this. This is a list with all, like all those. We will have approved the, the description, the label, the name, uh, confirmed description, label, name, etc. But we cannot filter the actual field value because it's an integer. Of course, uh, I didn't show that. But if we try to, in this case, we are using this put table filtered. Uh, if we try to, of course, use it directly, it's not going to be possible. This is a, an enumeration value, and here we don't have that. Um, we we want to, to to show the string that it will be the label. So we need to go through this and get that label. Obviously, if we bind directly this, this is going to be a record list. So it's going to probably get only the first and it's going to put always the approved here because this is a record list, the different multiplicity, it's not filter, whatever. So we can do what we can do and that's the trick. Uh, we can add here a calculated field using a function to convert having the, having the base enum type and having the, the name of the element, we can get the 
we can get the, um, the element value. So we go here, add let's put the dollar sign, and we can call it any value. Here, here it is. Get any value by name, and we receive the enumeration. Um, the enumeration value level text that it's the, the name and and it will give us the enum value so it's exactly what we need so here the first uh, argument it will be the name of the base enum in this case it was versioning document state and the second argument it's going to be the actual name of the element. As we are creating it into the document state list, we need to, and it's a calculated field that it's going to be calculated per each record, we need to give the each record at the same level, each record name to get each record enum value. Okay. So once we have this, because document state list is here, um, this is going to be exactly what we need. This is a, a, a calculated field that it's um, the um, value of the enum that we can now filter. So now we have all the ingredients to bind our, our state string, getting the information from the actual data. So we are going to get from the document state list, we are going to get the record that or which enum value is equal to the value that we want to export. Now we, we have filtered from all the, the different enums the one that is uh, the correct the one that it's in the in the in the record that we are exporting each time so now we can get the label but if we do that this is going to this is going to complain because it, it expects to be um, using a record but this where it's actually a list it can be more than one record so we know it's it's going to be always one record because we are filtering an enum, we're filtering uh, enum elements by the name. So it's impossible to have duplicates by that. But um, to make it more correct, because electronic reporting doesn't know that, doesn't have to know that, we should add the first or null function. in order to, to say, hey, this is going to be always a record. It's not going to be a list. And now it's not, it's not complaining about anything. And that would be the, the solution for it. Now we can see how um, we needed to create three things, three different things, the base enum, Calculated field listing all the base enum um, uh, elements and the calculated field to get the, the enum value of each one of the elements. And after that, we filter by that according to the actual enum value that we want to export. And that would be it. So I, I ensure you this works and now it will, ex it will export the approve, confirm, draft based on what it's in the actual table. So thank you, I, I hope you, um, you enjoyed this and, and it was useful for you. Um, and yeah, it was a, a fun time, as, as much as I enjoyed it, recording and editing it for you. Thank you. <laughs>